Well, we took the kids to the lake to go swimming, even though it's the third week of October. Even got a little wild and crazy and picked up pizza from our favorite local spot. So why not continue on with the fun and maple something, because we're out of dessert. Tonight's menu, peanut butter cookies. But of course, they're not going to be cookies, they're going to be bars. Because again, I'm a lazy baker and we don't do those individual things. They can cut the bars out of the pan and eat what they want. So let's go do it. Here's your recipe if you want to make a screenshot, but remember this half cup of granulated sugar and half cup of brown sugar is going to just be pure maple syrup, so let's get into it. Preheat your oven to 375. I came prepared tonight and I actually have a mixing bowl. I don't have to use one of my pots. Half a cup of softened butter. This is why my butter always lives on the counter, so I don't have to worry about whether or not it's soft when I need it. Add your half a cup of peanut butter, but we're going to need two hands for this, so I'll be right back. See? Right like that. Now, according to that book over there, we're supposed to do half a cup of granulated sugar and half a cup of brown sugar. But remember, we're not using refined sugars. We're using pure maple syrup. So we're going to combine the two measurements and just do one full cup of pure maple syrup. The real stuff that's just boiled down maple sap, not the pancake syrup that has corn syrup in it and then added in maple flavoring. When in doubt, check your ingredients. You should have one ingredient and one ingredient only on your pure maple syrup. And it is, in fact, just maple syrup. One cup in the bowl it goes. Add one egg. I have not become one of those skilled people in the kitchen that can crack and open an egg in one hand, so hold on. There, the egg's in the bowl. Moving on, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half-ish teaspoon of vanilla, and one and a quarter cups of flour. Time to mix it. Butter that and then put that in there. Do the putting of the things into the hot spot right there and let that do its job over there until things are done. And we're done. Now, I used a smaller dish than I usually do when I'm making cookie bars because that's just what I saw on the counter and I grabbed it because it was clean and ready to go. Usually I'll use like a standard nine by 13 casserole dish and so my baking time would be lesser than the 30 minutes that this took. But thicker bars is not a big deal. It just takes a little bit more patience for them to finish in the oven. And let's be honest, regardless of the pan size, I know my family, these are gonna be gone tomorrow and I'm gonna be having to maple something else anyways. So it works for us tonight. I was a little bit impatient and didn't wait for mine to cool off before I pulled it out of the pan, so it did kind of crumble apart as cookies tend to do if you don't let them cool properly. But at the end of the day, whether you make cookies or you make bars, you use a big pan or a little pan, we have now successfully mapled peanut butter cookies. I hope you enjoy them.